Hello, welcome back to another um, video and on today's video I'm going to be showing you how to draw Dawson's Creek. Now uh, what we're going to do is we'll start as always with a HB pencil and we're just going to sketch out the uh, the basic layout of uh, the head and the body. So it usually looks like this. Um, I'd be lying if I said it's never going to look anything different to this. Um, yep, that's about right. He's got a neck. Uh, and that's expected. Now, the main characteristics of the character Dawson's Creek, uh, he has a large cranium and a square jaw um, with a flopping of the hair on the top of the head. And that is perfect. Right, so uh, now we just draw his bulbous nose and uh, his eyes that leave a lot to be desired, really. Uh, and a mouth, that's perfect. Right. So once we've finished that, we can start adding in the uh, outline. So if we make a new layer, uh, we're going to use the Studio Pen, which is a personal favorite of mine because it draws onto the screen. And uh, we're just going to start doing the details and the uh, the outlines. So we'll just fill in these little chicken eyes. Um, here we go. So Dawson's Creek was a, a program that ran from the late 80s or the uh, I think the late 70s as well. It was on for a bit uh, and it ran for 15 years. It had, I think, probably the highest amount of um, episodes that had ever been aired on TV. I think it was around 164 episodes. Um, it was about um, a guy, this character actually, named um, Mr. Well, it was Master Creek because he was not an adult. He was only 14 at the time. Um and his shenanigans and hijinks that he got up to in the creek. It was mostly uh, him and uh, six or seven other people who, uh, who ran a small boating company um, and basically what they got up to. It was a, it was one of my favourite shows growing up. I couldn't get enough of watching it. Um, and as a result, I've had to draw him today. He, he has such a memorable face. He looks like uh, he was crafted out of um, the finest block of marble. Um, there we go. That's that is perfect. Right, let's uh, put the neck detail in. There we go. Now, what I love most about Dawson's character is um, no matter how how many haircuts he had, every season he manages to always make it look perfectly identical. I don't know if he used the same barber um, or he took some sort of reference photo to the barbers with him. Um, I would do that if I wanted to achieve this look. Um, but he managed to get it the same, which I was really impressed with. Here we go. I think as a result, um, a lot of the other characters actually started doing a similar sort of thing um, throughout the later seasons where they would essentially just copy his haircut. And I think there was a lot of fact uh, factors of... Uh... So anyway... Um, his hair, basically, I think, I don't know if you've heard the mythology of um, of Samson when he, he got most of his strength from his hair, and if he cut it, he would lose his strength. I think a lot of uh, Dawson's character w and the strength of his character was based off this hair, basically. So that's why it's so important. Hmm, that's looking, that looks, that's looking pretty perfect, actually. Um, he did used to wear a lot of, uh, a lot of sweater vests, so we're going to have to probably incorporate that. I'm just going to erase it. I wouldn't usually erase anything because I think once you've committed to something, um, you've got to stick with it for the rest of your life. But what we'll do is we'll erase this so we can put a sweater vest on because he was um, he was quite into sweater vests, actually. I think it was one of his passions, it seems, but uh, that's not one for me to judge. We just erase this as well. Uh, don't be af afraid to erase sometimes. Don't make a habit of it though, because then you'll become complacent in other areas of your life probably. Okay, so that's the sweat vest done. There's the, okay, there we go. This is this is looking good. Um, in fact, we'll have his arm down today because why the hell not? Right, so that's the basic outline. Oh yeah, that, that is looking perfect. Right, so now we need to, uh, we'll just quickly do the fill. So we're going to create a new layer underneath. Uh, we'll set this as a reference layer. So when we do the fills, um, it will pick up the layer above it. So we don't have to uh, fill in the top layer. Oh, that didn't work at all. 
So we set the wrong one as a reference layer. That's just something, uh, that's just one of those things you've got to get used to. Right, so that's done. Now what hair? I think he had, he had quite a uh, dusty hair colour. He almost looked like he's rubbed his uh, head along the your basement floor. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, so we just drag the colour in from the corner. There we go. What eye colour did he have? I don't remember. I don't think he actually has an eye colour. Um, I think he's one of those people who um, just has plain eyes. So we'll we'll go for blue because um, I'm familiar that, that other people have that as a, an eye colour. Um, and then we'll give him some some darker lips because what I remember from watching the show is he did a hell of a lot of kissing, a hell of a lot. He he could not stop kissing, whether it was his friends, his family, his mom, his dad. He would kiss them all. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. We'll just colour in his neck. And then he has some sort of argyle sweater vest on and another horrible beige coloured top underneath it. In fact, he also wore necklaces, which we're going to have to uh, draw on a separate layer, I think. Here we go. There we go. Horrible. Right, um, now we'll just quickly do some shading and then we should be away to go. Right, here we go. Um, we'll put a 20% opacity layer. We'll just do some quick shade in here. Here we go. Yeah, that's looking rather good. Shade under here. Shade under the arms. Do some under the nose. The lips. In the ear. Around the, around the eyes. I want to just do it quickly because, um, for example, if if you don't do it quickly, you may find that your um, computer that you're recording uh, this on runs out of battery, um, which is, in hindsight, a, a poor and, and rookie error. But that's fine because this isn't a professional. We're not doing this for money. Uh, never will, probably. Um, there we go. We just do the end of the eyebrows. Just put some where it's flopping over. It's creating a bit of a shadow on his enormous forehead. Um, and lastly, I'll put in some thin argyle stripes on his top. If we make a new layer. Uh, And there you have it, and that is how you draw Dawson's Creek. Let's just sign it here, Dawson Creek. Okay, thank you uh, so much for watching again. Uh, if you like this, um, I find that quite surprising.